Wanted to talk about last week, uh, you know, the Paul Owens award winners getting to be in that uh, stadium and experience what's going on. And of course, the future is bright. Uh, do we still have our, our prop sets down there, Renee? I don't know if I our do. shady rays are still do down mean, there. They're not your sunglasses? Uh, no, those are not. Uh, but let's put on our rose colored sunglasses. I'll give you. Uh, yeah, they're the, they're the studio pairs. P H O I shady rays. Uh, and we'll talk about the future being bright. Brought to you by Shady Rays. Head over to ShadyRays.com and use code PHLY for 35% off polarized sunglasses. Yes, I thought it was very cool. The double glasses always makes me feel like that one meme where he's just taking off glasses. Um, It was very cool to see Justin Crawford and Iverson Castellano in the stadium last week getting interviewed by the guys, getting to see firsthand. Look, when you play minor league baseball for a full year, you kind of forget... Mm. Um, you know, not that you forget what you're working for, but you forget the environment you're playing in. You just kind of get used to it to come into a citizens bank park at the end of the year on the doorstep of the playoffs to see that, to see both of them say, I want to be here next year. That's my Mm -hmm. goal. I want to be down in that dugout or on that field. Um, very cool stuff for the both of them. And then we'll talk about the guys that are heading to the Arizona fall. League. Yeah, I love that moment for them. And I love the fact that you had a chance to hear from them directly and hear about their journeys, their experience, their season. And they both spoke so well for Cassiano and for uh, Crawford. We had already had a chance to catch up with Justin Crawford back in spring training and had an idea of how mature he is for such a young talent. And Iverson Cassiano, who has a tremendous name, first of all, but also um, just really emerged this season. It was great to hear their growth and development and also to see how they were just kind of taking in the moment and looking ahead to what's next for them. So now to have this opportunity, what's next short term is for the Arizona Fall League, which begins October 7th and yeah. going to be a great opportunity for some more Philly representation. Yeah, a lot of Lehigh Valley's heading out to the Arizona Fall League, and that'll be something to pay attention to if you're a real sicko over the off season here. <laughs> uh, but some names heading out to the Arizona Fall League include Gabriel Rincones Jr., Jordan Disson, Christian McGowan, Wesley Moore, Otto Kempt, uh, Tristan Garnett. They're going to play for the Glendale Desert Dogs in the AFL, uh, which, as you said, starts October 7th. Some other members of the Phillies organization also making the journey out. Brian Rincon, Wen Hu Pan, and uh, Griff McGarry, who needs to uh, correct a lot of stuff. So the more work he can get, the better. Uh, but some names to pay attention to in the Arizona Fall League this year for the future is bright uh, on the Phillies farm system. Yeah, and I love these opportunities. I know it was dropped that 73 of the players that are playing in the Arizona Fall League played in the Major League Baseball inaugural spring breakout back in March. Ten of them were on the All-Star Futures game rosters in July. So they're getting these opportunities for these young talents to really be able to be on a big stage and put their um, – you know, their talents out there and show what they can do and also gives them something extra to work towards, you know? So I think this is a fantastic opportunity. And also just looking at some of the names, there's been 3000 big leaguers that have gone through the AFL since the league began back in 92, when some of us may have been born or may not have been born. Um, and yeah, I was born in 92. It's me. It's me. The it's guy a, born it's in a 92. great list. I mean, most recently, up, it's guys kids? like, most recently, it's guys like uh, Bryce Harper, Aaron Judge, Mookie Betts, They're Francisco good. Lindor that went players. through it. Doc, um, Derek Jeter. You had Todd Helton, Mike Piazza. Like so many names that have come through those uh, the ranks of the Arizona Fall League, and now they get to see the the most recent. Yeah, so the future's bright. We'll be keeping you up to date on these guys uh, throughout the off season. I think uh, I think the two guys in particular that that this really is going to help benefit is is Rincon and Rincones. Uh, the two combined yeah. for like 115 games this year. They missed a substantial amount of time. One had a hamstring. Uh, a the point, other yeah. one had a mm. uh, a thumb, a, a thumb ligament issue. Um, it's great to get them some extra work because, you know, they're still coming back from injury. Uh, I think those two guys in particular, this will be a, a really beneficial uh, fall league for. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And, uh, we'll keep you abreast of the situation uh, throughout the offseason. Uh, but just wanted to give those guys a little love before the playoffs start and we all get lost in red October <laughs> and it dictates our lives and uh, all of that stuff. 